It is time for more Minecraft Bingo. I'm on my own looking at seed 8888, and I'm recording this before the seeds have actually come out. So I don't know what the spawn point is on this card, and this one, we need eggs for the pumpkin pie and the cake, and we need cows for the book and the item frame and the cake. And it's kind of an overall tough card. The iron count's only in the 20s. There's a lot of other spread out resources that we might need to get. And so I think if there's chickens near the spawn point, then I'll go for the food items. But if there aren't, I probably will just let the cake and the pumpkin pie go because those are kind of difficult items to get, especially if I spend my time running around looking for chickens just to get the eggs and try to focus on the rest of what's on this card. Um, but apart from that, it's kind of usual stuff, but yeah, kind of spread out. Like I said, we need to kill kind of all the mobs. We need bone meal. We need spider eye. We need creeper dust. And let's see. Not sure that we're starting far enough away from land that it would necessarily be a boats, boats, boats week. Do I see anything good anywhere? Not really. And yeah, since I'm not sure if it's boats, 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 I think I'll just take a swim for it. It does look like there would be red mushrooms over there. It does look like we have the uh, deserts back over there. Yeah, the desert's actually not too far to get to in order to get my cactus green, I think is the only thing I need out of the desert. There's not a sapling on this card, is there? Yeah, I guess that's one of the things that makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, there's a few there's a few items that tend to be pretty easy, uh, and when one or two of those items don't appear on the card, that tends to make the card a little bit harder overall. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before, uh, but I was just uh, watching a stream recently where someone was playing Hollow Knight, and I happened to oh hey look there's chickens right here at spawn. Okay, multiple chickens. Okay, great. So. That means we will be going for those things. There's chickens over here too. Okay, great. All right. Uh, Hollow Knight has some DLC that's... And there's cows. All right. Good. We actually have a good spawn point. Hooray. There's some DLC coming out for Hollow Knight in, I think, about a month that I will be interested in playing. And so that is a game that I expect I will be coming back to in a while because uh, I did enjoy it Hollow Knight a whole lot and then I actually own three other games like in the meantime like apart from Minecraft I was trying to come up with other games I might want to play and I've got <laughs> three other possibilities one of them I played a bit and I liked watching someone else play it but it's it's too difficult for me I think um, yeah, since I don't think I'm going to LP that one, it is the, what is it called? Royal Cosmological Society or something? Cosmonautical Society? It's basically a Lunar Lander kind of game. Um, let's see. I need milk from you guys eventually, and perhaps I will be able to find some of that here, so let's not worry. I, mm, I don't see any iron down there. It looks like it's dead ending. Uh, what I should be doing is cooking up these with some wood. Oh! <laughs> oh dear. All right, cooking up that with some wood. Let's go ahead and get the wood and get that cooking. And then, yeah, I need the chickens for eggs and I need the cows for milk. So what do I want to do about food becomes the question. Um, I could go traveling for mushrooms. Uh, over in this direction, there's root forest, and there's at least the brown mushrooms. So I guess I'll do that for a minute. How many cows are there? I only need one cow uh, alive to get the milk bucket. So I could kill a couple of the cows. Let's go ahead and do that and get some food cooking. Um, yeah, I think that sounds reasonable. All right, but we still got the chickens laying. Let's pop up here and see. I'm going to need these for some of the cow leather bits. Pop up here and see if we can see a red mushroom anywhere. I don't need the red dye. Because we just have blue on this card for the lapis. And I just need the one brown mushroom. All right, so from up here, can I see anything good? I see pumpkins over there. 
Uh, and so that'll make the pumpkin pie easy to get. Yeah, let's go ahead. That's for my pumpkin pie. So that one is totally going to be gettable. And then the cake hopefully will also be gettable. And let's take a quick look over in this direction too. Because we got some stuff cooking and we got the chickens laying. Anything good visible over here? Well, we got the deserts we're going to need to go back to. Uh, but I don't see signs of a red mushroom or likely places to get that. And I don't see obvious cave systems to go to. All right. Oh, wait, is this a little cave system? Might be. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, no, it is not. All right. So we spent a, t a little bit of time wandering around. Yeah, There's also not a cave. Gosh darn it. Okay, so let's pick up our things uh, and craft a couple of things. That might be a cave right there, actually. And, but yeah, I definitely want to head for the pumpkins. So we'll go grab that. I'm pretty sure my furnace is right back over here. Or did I get turned around? Uh-oh. Did I get turned around? Where am I? <laughs> what world is this? Uh, my furnace is back over here, isn't it? Aha. Not sure exactly how I did that, but... At least I think I see the way back. I do need squid ink as well, and I happen to see this guy right here. So before I forget about it, let's go ahead and grab this. And I need a flint as well, and I see some gravel on the shore there. I heard that go into my inventory. So let's not worry about that anymore. Show me gravel. Show me flint. There's flint. Great. Um, and I think I have all the sand I need, but at one point I was going to place it, and so just in case I screwed that up, I got that. Okay, um, other things I need to cook. I never got clay. I could cook this up for the moment. Uh, there are things that I can craft. Um, boop, 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 boop. Let's go ahead and make an item frame and a book. And glass bottles. All right, and this is cooked up. And we're going to grab our two eggs, which should be on the ground by now, hopefully. Uh, you just laid an egg. Okay, that's great. And I don't need the feather for anything. And I know there were more uh, chickens over here, so there's got to be an egg right here. And then I should have made a boat. That's what I should have done, because I want to go to the desert and go get the pumpkins. Okay, so there's an egg. Great. Um, yeah, I think let's make the boat and go sail and get those things. That sounds good. Boats, boats, boats. And one of the things, I've been watching a bit of speedrunning recently, and one thing that I've been thinking about is that it could be smart for me to try to get, I'm not sure there's actually a cactus here. Let me look around on the other side. There almost certainly is. Let me just get out here and walk around on the land for a minute. I see one way up there. Okay. Optimizing my inventory, especially my hotbar. Um, I think there are ways that I could try to kind of leave crummy items on my hotbar and then come up with opportunities to dump them out while I'm running around pressing Q and then having things like the boat like pop back up on my hotbar. Not sure how well I just described that. But basically, I think there's opportunities for me to do some micro optimizations that I might be able to kind of ingrain into my own brain and practices and things. So I'm pretty sure over this hill is where I saw the pumpkins. I don't remember if there's a way to sail through here to get there. And I do need to pick up clay at some point, and so let's try to keep our eyes open as we are sailing in case the clay makes an appearance. And also, I don't have any iron yet, and if there's any easy anything right here, it's probably worth a look. Um, still no easy anything. I did see some coal. I'm not going to go after that just for the coal. And the pumpkins were somewhere over here. Zoop. So hopefully I remember where they were from that glance before. Um, I was up on this mountain, so I think they're farther this way, I think. And there's a whole bunch of monsters. And none of them, there was some iron over there, but none of them seem to be like guarding a dungeon or anything. And it does appear that I've overshot the pumpkins. Darn it. <laughs> so I'm not as happy about that. So where were the pumpkins? Like I was up there and I was looking down this way and I saw them, I thought, like along a river shore or something. 
poop. <laughs> I am pretty unhappy about that. Is it possible they were farther this way? Well, if not, I'm just going to be looking for a good cave system for right now anyway. I don't want to travel too far because I know there's cows nearby once I get some iron. And I may need more food. Hey. Wow. I think that's the most swing and a miss I've gotten on a pig in quite a while. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm wasting time right now. I need to be, like, getting things. Uh, this looks like it might be a cave over here. Um, sure. Uh, this is the same little cave I was just in. Gosh darn it. <laughs> on the shore. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I did see some clay, I thought, possibly. Yeah, maybe not. And let's see. I started over there. Yeah, so maybe the... I don't remember. Oh, there's the pumpkins. I see them. Wow, I way overshot them in this direction. Okay. Well... Guess what? Sugar, egg, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. All right, we got one of the hard items, hooray. And here is some clay. All right, so that's good as well. And while I'm on the surface, I do need to fight Enderman. I do still need to find a red mushroom. And the cake, I don't have to go for the cake. It's still a lot of work. Uh, so let's maybe uh, forget about the cake for a moment and try to find the red mushroom. And I could cook up the clay, possibly some food. Um, if I don't need the cake, I probably don't need any more sugar cane actually. Um, and let's hop in a boat for just a minute and see if we're gonna see an enderman. And also if that's extreme hills, that could be a good place to go downstairs. So let's consider that as well. There's a red mushroom. Okay. There's one more easy item. It'll be turning night, so we'll get some monsters spawning and possibly be able to kill some of the monsters that we need. I can't fish yet because I don't have string. All right. Give me my red mushroom, please. There we go. All right. Let's hop away from this guy. Uh, Enderman would be the best. If I saw a cave going down at the extreme hills, which I do, I think I'll just take it. Uh, Enderman is not a guaranteed thing at night and could cost me a bit of time. So if this looks like extreme hills cave, then I think it might be the place to start. Um, let's see. And I only have the one furnace right now. And there wasn't a ton of iron on this card, so getting the iron pick started will be a good idea. So next time I need to dig something. Oh boy, doesn't look like this cave goes anywhere. Um, any chance it goes through somewhere? No. All right, uh, let's do this. Let's get the iron cooking. Uh, let's get a second furnace going. And get the clay cooking. And then I could also cook up food. And then I can make my mushroom stew, which will also be some more food. And I could also cook up that, the cactus. And I forget if I'm going to need, yeah, I need that paper for the gunpowder fireworks rocket. Here is my pickaxe. I don't necessarily need a bucket, although I do like buckets. Um, I'm cooking up clay, but clay isn't on the card. Is it crap? Is that did I just really do that? <laughs> like, am I just missing it on the card, or nope, that's just not on the card. I don't know why I picked that up. I really thought I analyzed the card at the start of the game and decided that was an item that I needed, and that is not an item that I need, and I feel very embarrassed about it. Oh well. Sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, I could put two of these over here as well, and that would still be cooking for a minute. Um, let's update the card since I seem to be in a bit of a mess right now. Yeah, we're off to a very slow start, and obviously we haven't found a jungle. Okay, I need this on the bar, I need blocks on the bar, I need to get things that don't need to be on the bar off the bar. 
And let's go ahead and eat this just so I can get that out of my inventory. And let's get the, yeah, let's go look for the Enderman again, I guess. And I guess while we're looking for an Enderman, we could be looking for a uh, jungle to get the jungle items uh, or a surface structure that's going to get us some bonuses as well. All right. So, Enderman, obviously an easy skeleton or creeper, could also net us some items that we need. And let's look for a cave going into an extreme hills once again. And a jungle. So those are the things I'm looking for. That skeleton doesn't look extremely easy. There is a cave system in the extreme hills, though. So I think that might be... Let's just not worry about the boat. The boat that does not exist. Hey, buddy. You want to drop a bone? He did. Hooray. Two bones, as a matter of fact. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good cave. All right, so let's get started in here. Um, I don't have enough stuff that I need to cook right at this moment. So we'll go down a bit further before we do any more cooking, I think. But that was a nice 11 vein of iron. Let's make sure we have the coal to cook it up with. And, all right, I thought this cave was going farther, and it did not. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <clears throat> why caves, why? Um, any chance that my boat reappeared here? Hey, it did. All right. Let's go ahead and keep looking for the Enderman. Keep looking for... Uh... There's a wolf. <laughs> what are you doing in here, buddy? All right, I keep finding these caves and extreme hills that don't actually go anywhere. Not helping. All right, ender pearl, creeper dust, extreme hills cave, jungle. And yeah, if we manage to kill the spider and get the strings that we could go fishing while we're up here, that's great. But I feel like that's not a... This creeper's kind of all alone. That's not a uh, high risk reward play. Okay. Creepers in the water, that was a foolish thing to go after. That's never going to work. Looks like there's more extreme hills up here. Enderman could be found anywhere. I hope I didn't just go in a loop. I've gotten a little bit turned around as I've gotten in and out of my boat. Uh, is that where I saw the wolf? Yeah, it is. I just went in a loop. Gosh darn it. <sighs> oh, today is not my day for Minecraft bingo, I think. I am I'm doing very poorly at this. Don't play like me, kids. All right. I should... Yeah, just get out on land. Try to find an Enderman. Uh, and any... Any things I can find, basically. Yeah, this is all terrain that I've already traversed. I saw the red mushroom that I chopped down over there. I kind of know where I am again, which I guess is kind of nice. Hopefully I won't need that. And I guess at the rate I'm going... Oops. Let's also go ahead and... Do that. <laughs> So that if I die because I'm playing so poorly, I won't lose those items. I'm at eight items. And it's almost daytime again. This is awful, and I haven't found a cave to go down into. Yeah, this is really awful. Here's a cave of some description. Let's go down there and at least get some iron items, hopefully. Please go somewhere, cave. All right, well, at least some of it is bad luck, right? I've poked my head into like four or five caves and none of them have gone anywhere. I do hear the spider. Who I thought was up here. There he is. Please be a perfect spider. Uh, he was not. Perfect spider would drop a spider eye and two string. Uh, but they are rare creatures. 
Um, does look like there's another cave down there. While we have any time to possibly find the Enderman, I did want to take another quick look. Uh, no, that's not an Enderman. Let's see if I could spot him. There are, oh, here's an Enderman. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna die to you, but at least I found you. Here we go. There is a creeper coming on my left. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. I'm in trouble. I think I can outrun the Enderman. I have enough sprinting capability left. Okay, and he's still after me, so we still have a chance to get the Ender Pearl. But of course he didn't drop it. <laughs> oh, what a mess of this card. I, I just don't know what to say, really. All right, I still need my gunpowder. And that was not a good way to get it. It's kind of a tight space to go after him, so I don't feel too bad about my performance there. I took a shot, it didn't work. There are some iron items that I could get. So let's try to work on those. And I'm actually leaning in my chair to try to like see around this corner. Nope, of course not. Doesn't go anywhere. A cave that goes somewhere? That's too much to ask in Minecraft Bingo. Well, I did feel that this was gonna be kind of a difficult card at the beginning. Like I've played it poorly, but I also feel like if other people went in some of the same directions that I did, they will be as likely to find these unlucky spots as I am. Here's some more iron, at least. Okay, which means I need to get the iron cooking. So, half of you go there. Half of you go there. Let's grab this iron. And I don't have any redstone. So I can't make some of these items. Uh, but I could make the chest. Uh, let's put you in there. Put you in there. Um, and get this, eat this. All right, so I can make a cauldron and a hopper. So there's a cauldron. A hopper is going to need a chest, so we'll do that. Um, this will take a little while. I could make another chest, uh, but I'm not going to. Or sorry, another furnace. Maybe we'll find a creeper back on the way out. Yeah, I'm not going to get... This will be my lowest score that I've gotten in a long time. Fairly certain. Yeah, this one just went horribly. Let's see. Let me update the card once more. Is there anything else I can make with just iron? I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, I could dig down for gold, actually. What level am I at right now? 46. Yeah, I think the smartest thing, actually, is to dig down and hope that we find good stuff directly below us. Uh, so let's do that. Even a cave could get us the spider eye and the creeper dust. And... There's some more iron that I don't need. Yeah, I mostly need the gold... All right, so we're just going to dig across and hope that we hear a cave or run into a patch of gold. Um, yeah, I think that's my best strategy at this point. And I guess digging down a little bit further, since there is the diamond hoe. Uh, oh, and I need the redstone, actually. Duh. Yeah, I should definitely be down at the redstone layer. I don't know why that hadn't occurred to me. Probably because I'm playing horribly, and so nothing in my brain is going right. That said, it's not like we're even going to find... Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> um, let's make the diamond hoe. And I think it's worth it. Is it worth it? There's barely enough time left, but a diamond pick does dig quite a bit faster. 
So let's imagine it might be worth it. And then I also, uh, in case it matters, should be doing that. OK. So let's hope we find redstone at least uh, and a piece of gold. Yeah, I could still get some good things. And at this point, I'm never going to find a cave. And so it's better to do the poke hole strategies. Um, the poke hole strategy, the disadvantage is you move very slowly through the world. And so uh, you are less likely to find new cave systems. But you do expose blocks faster. Um, and so the poke hole strategy is good for just exposing the most blocks underground. And so if you're not looking for a cave anyway, uh, poke holes is better. And so at this point, I just want to find uh, gold, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. I'm not going to find a emerald down here. And I'm not even going to have time to cook up the gold in just a second. Come on. Okay, come on. Gold, gold cook. Ah! Uh, crafting table. I need a new one. Put it down. Ah! Well, that's appropriate. <laughs> 13. Because my 14th came at 01. Because I screwed up even that at the end. Wow. 13. Definitely the worst I've done in quite a long time. Um, yeah, I'm embarrassed to air this, but what else am I going to do? I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I don't particularly look forward to comparing scores with all of you on this one, uh, but I hope that you all did better than I did. Bye-bye.